Before goldfish became a staple of aquariums worldwide, they lived humble lives as Chinese cushion carp. These unassuming fish, sport and it's hard to believe that the charming laid-back cows grazing peacefully in pastures today once had ancestors as ferocious and towering as the aurochs. These ancient beasts, with their imposing six-foot-tall shoulders and massive, sweeping horns, roamed Europe, Asia, and North Africa thousands of years ago. Known for their lean, muscular physiques and unmatched endurance, aurochs were a far cry from the docile cattle we know now. Through centuries of domestication, humans selectively bred aurochs for traits like reduced aggression, higher milk production, and greater adaptability to confined spaces. Over time, the once majestic aurochs were transformed into various breeds of cattle, from the stocky Angus to the mighty Belgian Blue. But as humans altered these animals to suit their needs, they also diminished their wild instincts, reshaping them into entirely different creatures. This journey of transformation isn't unique to cattle. Across the globe, wild animals have been domesticated, evolving both physically and behaviorally to meet human demands. Let's take a look at how some of these animals have changed, one fascinating story at a time, weaving together the threads of evolution, adaptation, and human intervention. Goldfish Goldfish may seem mundane today, swimming lazily in bowls or aquariums, but their story is anything but ordinary. Around 1,500 years ago in China, people first noticed a genetic mutation in the gray, hardy crucian carp, a splash of red scales shimmering in the sunlight. Intrigued by this anomaly, ancient breeders isolated these colorful fish, selectively breeding them in decorative ponds and gardens. Over centuries, selective breeding led to the creation of goldfish with diverse body shapes, fin configurations, and eye designs. By the Ming Dynasty, 14th to 17th centuries, goldfish were being raised indoors, allowing for the survival and proliferation of fish with more delicate, ornamental traits. Today, some varieties are so far removed from their wild ancestors that they require artificial breeding methods to reproduce. The goldfish's transformation illustrates how domestication can drastically alter an animal's form and function, sometimes to the point of dependency on human care. Donkeys Moving from water to dry, rugged landscapes, let's explore the journey of donkeys. Around 7,000 years ago, African wild donkeys, known for their resilience in harsh, semi-arid environments, were tamed in East Africa, long before horses entered the picture. These wild creatures, equipped with dark stripes across their backs and occasionally on their legs, were built for survival. Their domesticated descendants, however, exhibit fewer distinguishing features and are generally smaller, with shorter legs and plainer coats. Despite their physical changes, domestic donkeys retained their remarkable endurance and adaptability, making them invaluable in agriculture and transportation. Today, eight distinct breeds of domestic donkeys can be found worldwide, each shaped by the unique needs of the communities that rely on them. Yet, their wild origins remain visible in the subtle echoes of their physical traits and steadfast spirit. Before we dive deeper into how domestication has shaped wild animals, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos like this one. Goats Even earlier than donkeys, goats were among the first animals to be domesticated, around 9,000 to 10,000 years ago in Western Asia. Descended from the wild Bezor ibex, these animals initially thrived in rocky, mountainous terrains. Their domestication was a game-changer, not just for humans but for the goats themselves. Selective breeding for traits like size, fertility, and wool quality rapidly diversified the goat population, resulting in over 300 breeds today. Wild goats, with their straight ears and sharply curved horns, stand in stark contrast to their domestic counterparts, which often feature long, drooping ears and spiral-shaped horns. Even their behavior has shifted dramatically. Domestic goats are more docile and accustomed to living in herds. These transformations highlight how domestication not only changes physical traits but also rewires an animal's instincts and behaviors. Pufferfish Originating from the rugged mountains of Asia, we turn to the water to explore the unique and spiky world of the pufferfish. Pufferfish are perhaps one of the most unique creatures on this list. With their spines, beak-like teeth, and ability to inflate into a spiky ball, they've always been fascinating. However, did you know that their spines aren't scales but an evolutionary adaptation linked to the same genes responsible for fur and feathers in other animals? In the wild, these spines protect their stretched bellies when puffed up, 
But in captivity, humans have taken a different approach. Japanese researchers have even bred non-toxic pufferfish by controlling their diets, removing the deadly tetrodotoxin that accumulates in their systems. Over time, these non-toxic variants could potentially become a domesticated species, a safer, culinary delight for future generations. Cattle Moving from pufferfish, another animal that humans have reshaped for survival and utility is the cattle. Modern cattle owe their existence to the mighty aurochs, a wild ox species that once roamed Europe and Asia. These animals stood a towering six feet at the shoulder and boasted elongated horns up to 31 inches long. Early humans began domesticating them around 10,500 years ago, and through selective breeding, they've transformed into the diverse cattle breeds we see today. Some, like the Belgian Blue, have been bred for massive size and meat production, while others prioritize milk yield. Interestingly, some ancient traits, like dark coloring and a light stripe along the back, still persist in certain breeds. But the aurochs' lean physique and muscular frame are a thing of the past. Modern domestic cattle are often hornless for safety and can thrive in environments their wild ancestors would never survive, thanks to thousands of years of human intervention. Pigs Building on the domestication of cows, pigs have also been transformed by humans for similar purposes, including food production and labor. Pigs were domesticated independently in eastern Anatolia and central China about 9,000 to 10,000 years ago. The contrast between wild boars and domestic pigs is striking. Wild boars, with their muscular builds, coarse fur, and formidable tusks, are built for survival in the wilderness. Farm pigs, on the other hand, are bred for size, docility, and meat production, often losing their rugged physical characteristics in the process. Interestingly, despite centuries of domestication, domestic pigs still retain tusks, albeit smaller ones. This lingering wild trait can be attributed to occasional interbreeding with wild boars. However, farm pigs are far removed from their ancestors in other ways, their social nature and lack of fear toward humans being prime examples. The ongoing interplay between wild and domestic genetics ensures that pigs remain a fascinating case study in evolution. Horses Speaking of dramatic changes, horses underwent some of the most significant transformations under human care. Horses are another iconic example of domestication. While truly wild horses like the Prowalski's horse still roam parts of Asia, domestic horses have undergone significant changes. Selective breeding has given them sturdier spines for riding, longer legs for speed, and high withers to support their elegant necks. These adaptations not only make horses more suitable for human use, but also differentiate them from their wild relatives. In the wild, shorter legs and stockier builds help horses maintain balance and stability, while thicker fur provides protection against harsh climates. Domestic horses, often kept in sheltered environments, no longer require these survival traits. Instead, their evolution has been guided by human preferences for temperament, endurance, and appearance. If you guys want to see the video only related to the world's most beautiful horses, click on I button to watch the amazing episode. Turkeys Following the domestication of horses, turkeys too have been adapted by humans for various practical purposes, particularly in food production. Turkeys, native to North America, were first domesticated by indigenous peoples over 2,000 years ago. Wild turkeys are agile flyers with sharp vision and strong survival instincts. Domestication, however, has turned these birds into much larger, flightless versions bred specifically for meat. The broad-breasted white turkey, a staple of modern farming, is so heavily engineered for size that it cannot mate naturally. This loss of wild traits ensures higher meat yields but at the expense of agility and survival capabilities in natural settings. Sheep After the domestication of turkeys, sheep have similarly been shaped by humans for their wool, meat, and other essential resources. The wild ancestors of modern sheep, called mouflons, roamed mountainous regions with thick, coarse hair rather than wool. Domestication began around 10,000 years ago in the Fertile Crescent, where humans selected traits like softer wool and docile behavior. Over millennia, sheep developed more specialized wool coats and a loss of survival traits such as the ability to shed their fleece naturally. Modern sheep are reliant on humans for shearing and protection, a far cry from their self-sufficient ancestors. 
Meat Chickens Just as sheep have been domesticated for their wool and meat, meat chickens have also been bred for their rapid growth and high yield in food production. The modern broiler chicken, a cornerstone of the poultry industry, bears little resemblance to its ancestor, the red jungle fowl. Domestication began thousands of years ago, but it's in recent decades that selective breeding has drastically changed these birds. Broilers grow rapidly, reaching market size in just weeks. However, this rapid growth often leads to health issues like weak bones and poor mobility, underscoring the trade-offs in the quest for efficiency. If you're enjoying this exploration into the transformation of wild animals, don't forget to like, share, and comment below which animal's domestication amazed you the most. Peace. Just as meat chickens are raised for their poultry, geese have also been domesticated for their meat, eggs, and feathers. Geese were domesticated around 3,000 years ago in both Europe and Asia. Originally valued for their alertness and ability to ward off intruders, they became a source of meat, feathers, and fat. Wild geese are migratory, strong flyers with keen instincts, whereas domesticated geese are heavier, flightless, and more docile, having traded survival skills for human care. Rabbits Similarly to geese, rabbits have been domesticated by humans for their meat, offering another source of protein in diets around the world. Rabbits were first domesticated by monks in the Middle Ages for their meat and fur. Wild European rabbits are lean, swift, and burrow-dwelling, with strong survival instincts. Domesticated rabbits, however, come in a variety of breeds with diverse fur colors and sizes, often bred for docility and aesthetic appeal. This domestication has diminished their agility and predator awareness, traits essential for life in the wild. Pigeons Much like rabbits, pigeons have been domesticated by humans for their meat, providing an additional source of protein in various cultures. Pigeons, or rock doves, have an ancient history of domestication spanning over 5,000 years. Originally valued for their homing ability and use as messengers, pigeons were also bred for meat, squab, and ornamental purposes. Wild pigeons are agile flyers with keen navigation skills, while domesticated breeds often lose these abilities, focusing instead on specific traits like plumage patterns or body shape. Salmon while mammals like pigs and goats have a long history of domestication, the domestication of Atlantic salmon began relatively recently, around 50 years ago. Norwegian scientists in the 1970s initiated selective breeding programs to produce salmon that grew faster and could be farmed year-round. Over just a few generations, farmed salmon developed traits that distinguished them from their wild counterparts. Farm-raised salmon have smaller eyes, less efficient swimming abilities, and a greater tendency to store fat. These changes make them ill-suited for survival in the wild, but ideal for aquaculture. Genetic modifications have further accelerated their growth, allowing them to reach market size in less than two years. While these traits benefit the aquaculture industry, they underscore the stark differences between domesticated and wild salmon. From shimmering goldfish to towering cattle, the transformation of wild animals into domesticated companions and food sources is a testament to human ingenuity and influence. Each story reveals a unique relationship between humans and the natural world, one where survival, utility, and aesthetics collide. Yet, as we reshape these creatures, we must also consider the delicate balance between preserving their wild heritage and adapting them to suit our needs. The question remains, in our quest to domesticate, what traits and instincts are we erasing forever?